Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, I was actually going to leave the camp! Oh my god! And... Yes. Yes. Indeed. I'm gonna continue with the same party I've been going with for a while. Mostly because they tend to actually agree with, you know, my actions. I wonder if I'm gonna get stopped on the way. There are plenty of reasons to. I should probably have some talks with Liliana, too. Because not everything... Yeah. Party storage chest! Yay! It's time to put some stuff away that we're not going to be carrying. I should sell those. I should sell those and the arrows. Um, well, I could probably put that on wind, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna put the juggernaut stuff away because I can't wear it. And maybe I can put that on Liliana, I don't know. I can try. Um, and I can sell that. Oh, I should probably put some of the gifts away. I certainly don't need really any for, um, Alistair. That one's for dog. That one's just in general. And I am collecting the stones. You'll see why. Or if you already are familiar why, then yeah. And that cleared up a ton of space. Seriously. Um. Wow. I'm storing quite a few stuff. Things quite a few stuff. My grammar is just absolutely lovely, isn't it? Are you walking into people when... Come on. Come on. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's put the oak branch on her. Doesn't look nearly as cool, but whatever. Right. And just in case, I'll put this stuff in here. And the Beastman's Dagger. Because I feel like it. Shut up. And... Levy! What can I do for you, Warden? Sir? I love how he never comments on the fact that you are apparently wearing, um... his great-grandmother's, um... armor. It's just like, eh, it doesn't really matter. need that. So I'm good. Okay, so I've obviously cleared up quite a bit of space. Um, I don't really need to buy anything else from him, but probably should have gone the other way. But I do have something for you, Liliana. Mm, flowers? Oh, thank you. They're very pretty. These are your mother's flowers, aren't they? These were her favorite. <sighs> I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. Plus 15, and now she's got major cunning. What is her approval right now? Aha, 77. I should probably talk around there. I could just imagine a whole bunch of you out there going, No! Keep going! Something I can help with? I'd like to talk to you about something. Yes? What's on your mind? Do you miss anything about Orlais? I miss Val Royaux. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Val Royaux was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Val Royaux, streaming from the many windows quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant, coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. It sounds wonderful. Oh, it would take me a day or two to talk about the many splendors of Orlais, her golden fields, her lush meadows. Of course there are good things and bad things about Orlais, 
like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Ole. And this is again a hint as to kinds of gifts to give her. What sorts of things? Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Ole is very fashionable, almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes! Living with his ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Hmm. Oh, I love shoes! And, uh, by the way, if you're a male warden, you still get this response. So it was kind of awkward. <laughs> I love shoes! When I left Ole, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Oh, that sounds so lovely. I had my eye on a pair my shoemaker was working on. It was covered in pale blue silk with amber beads on the toe. The shoes made in Ole were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, just look at them. Mm, at least they keep the cold out. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? Mm-hmm. I'm specifically help trying to trigger her personal quest. Yes? What's on your mind? I heard that in Orlais, minstrels were often spies. Why did you hear this? Don't walk right between us! I read it in a history book. And did you not think that this could be historical fact and no longer true? <laughs> not all minstrels are spies. Most are just singers and storytellers, but some of them are... are what we call bards. What's the difference? Many use the two words, minstrel and bard, interchangeably. Stop being dropping! Which in Orle would cause misunderstanding. Bards are minstrels and more. Spies, as you say. Some say there is a bard order, but I don't think this is true. Many bards work alone or in small groups, doing the bidding of a patron who pays for their services. If there is an organization behind it all, no one knows who they are. Hmm. Patron? What sort of patron? Nobles, mostly. In Orle, there is much rivalry amongst the highborn. They fight over land, influence, and the favor of the empress. But they cannot do this openly because it is impolite, and in public, they wear smiling faces and pretend to be civil. In secret, they plot and scheme to destroy each other. It is a game completely meaningless to anyone but its players. Hmm. You seem to know quite a bit about these bards. <laughs> and I should, shouldn't I, after having spent most of my adult life as one. You've guessed as much, I'm sure. But does it really matter what I was? What's past is past. True. But why were you living cloistered? Uh, why were you... That sentence is wrong. But why were you living as a cloistered sister in rural Ferelden? I... found myself in Ferelden, and sheltered from bad weather in the Chantry. And when the storm passed, I just... did not want to leave. I like to see the Maker brought me here. She approves plus two. Huh. Well, I'm not entirely sure about the honesty behind her response there, but I'm just about out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, so I hope to see you next time where I continue talking with people. No, hopefully I keep moving.